Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Our last break of the night, 2020 Topps Gold Label Baseball. 16 box, pick your team, number six from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action right here. 16 box six on the 15th, our last break of the night. Cody, that's not full yet. If you look at the break schedule that's pinned there, you'll see why. Still have a couple filler breaks to do. Always keep an eye out for those, ladies and gentlemen. Big thanks to everybody there. And let's see what's in this case. We're doing a, I know it's a little early, but it's not official yet, but we're doing a little Dodgers uh, post-mortem. Um, on their season. Sean Mercer was asking if Dave Roberts was going to get fired. He thinks he's going to get fired. It's not his fault, but he's going to get fired. Yeah, maybe. Maybe there might be a change. Maybe just a different voice in that locker room. Might be it. Not Dave Roberts' fault, though. I think his bullpen choices are still a little questionable, but, but it's not like he has a good bullpen to work with. Dodgers... Right, right. If the Dodgers lose, Sean Mercer is saying, yeah, the Dodgers lose, which they probably are, mathematically. Um, so, yeah. So, I think I think that gets a little interesting. You can see the frame on top right there. It's not going anywhere. But the, the hitters did not did not help Dave. Hitters might get Dave, Dave Roberts fired. Um, for the number three note, you have to look out for the – we need to do – if you look at the break schedule, Cody, and this goes for everybody. If you look at the break schedule, it will I'll usually list where um, – how many of these filler breaks we have to do to unlock a break. And if you look there, we need pack 15 and 16 to happen. So that's not going to go until tomorrow. Please pay attention to those, ladies and gentlemen. It will – we try to make everything as, as clear as possible for everyone so they're – and those, and I know sometimes there's a lot of layers to getting a break done, but we want to try to make that as clear as possible. So please look at that. I type those in to help you out, ladies and gentlemen. This Castellanos, Luis Robert, of course. White Sox, Rich Ferretis with the Shy Sox. Ultimately, I th I think you know maybe maybe you can knock Dave Roberts a little bit. This goes to the Reds, Rick Thomas. I think Dodgers have not really addressed the bullpen for a long time. Where was Joe Kelly tonight? He wasn't around. He didn't throw an inning tonight in a, a pretty important game. So, it's just a small example. Detroit, Travis Melberg, there's a Jake Rogers for you. Nice. And I know the numbers. The regular season numbers say the Dodgers had a great bullpen, but well, they have a lot of depth too. But when it comes to the playoffs, you still need that two or three guys that you can rely on. You know, like prime Andrew Miller. Remember prime Andrew Miller? Like someone like that. Even the Nationals last year had two or three guys that uh, outside of the starters. Two or three guys that they just rolled out there every day and just ro rode on their arms to, to get to where they needed to be. That's kind of what you need. The Dodgers don't have that. Starters are great. Outside of the starters, like who... And I think greater all is going to be great. He's still pretty young now. You know, so I think that's like... That's the thing they... That's the big thing they have to... An issue that they have to address next year. And guys with like... That playoff mentality. Pedro Baez, great for the regular season. Not so great in the playoffs. There's Carl Yastrzemski. There's Yaz, MLB Legends Relic, 47 out of 50 for the Red Sox, John Wilkins. So things the Dodgers have to address next year. Where does Trevor Bauer end up? That's a good question. I think he's one of the big big free agents of the offseason, right? I mean, couldn't most teams could use a Trevor Bauer. He's a number... He's a number two guy on all, every almost any team, right? Almost every team he's a number two starter. Even a number one starter on a lot of teams. There's Ricky Henderson to 75. 
A number one starter on most teams, a number two starter on every single team. All right. The frame behind Kershaw is Mike King, Yankees. Maybe the Yankees go and get Trevor Bauer. Garrett Cole and Trevor Bauer on top of that rotation. I think the Padres could use some starting pitching. They'd love a Trevor Bauer at the top of their rotation. Yankees, Joe Vent picked up the Yankees straight up. I mean, I think anyone can use a Trevor Bauer. I think, I mean, any playoff team could use a Trevor Bauer. Brewers would love a Trevor Bauer. Twins, Jose Barrios, Trevor Bauer, Kenta Maeda, Rich Hill. You know, the, what's up, Jake Odorizzi out there? Some starting pitching depth. Twins would love that. What about the up, uh, upstart White Sox? I don't think the White Sox want some, some starting pitching up there. Hi, David. Yes, they do. Per the item description, it says all card ship on the second line. Yes, everything ships. So I know there's a lot of, there's class one, two, threes on a lot of different players. So yeah, we're, we're, we're shipping everything. I am setting aside Luis Robert and Kyle Lewis proactively, but everything will go. What about yeah? What about your Angels, Arsenal? I'm sure the I'm sure the Halos would love to would love to have a Trevor Bauer, All right? Dylan Bundy, Trevor Bauer to top that rotation. All right, behind Yadi is Jake Rod, another Jake Rogers for Travis and the Tigers. What are some other big free agents this year? I think Trevor Bauer. A lot of a lot of teams can use that pitching, and he he, I think he has that sort of that sort of uh, that mentality to pitch well in the playoffs. I think any playoff team would love to have a Trevor Bauer on the team. Oh, Bundy's a free agent. Interesting. I think for playoff teams, it's not only not only performance, but you know, there's a certain certain level of certain level of mental strength that you need to have to also be effective in the playoffs. Do we get another relic? Usually only one per case, and we get two. There's Willie McCovey, 22 out of 50 for the Giants. I Capola with the Gigantes. With Rafael Devers to 150 for John Wilkins and the Red Sox. The frame is going to be behind uh, Juan Soto. It's Matt Tice speaking of Anaheim. The Los Angeles, California Angels of Anaheim in Orange County. That goes to Wesley Thomas in the Halos. No worries, David. Here's the next box.
Next box. Oh, we got blue Jacob deGrom to 150. Are the Rays going to blow it? They got walked off today by the Strohs. I think it's 3-2 now, the series. All right, there's Trey Turner, and there's Hunter Harvey. Orioles, Jason Bell. Jason, there you go, Bell. With the O's, last spot mojo, 60% of the time. Last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. It is a fact. A mathematical fact from the Jaspi Stats and Info Department. <laughs> Next gen Jaspi breaking stats. We actually need, could use that. That'd be kind of fun. Where does Jeff Samarja go? I don't know. He basically stole money from the Giants. So, massive contract that he got. That's why you pick baseball over football, folks. If you're listening and you're an a professional or soon-to-be professional athlete who's deciding between baseball and football. There's Kyle Lewis. I don't know what happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Surely something happened. Nothing 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 Tight end, I think. Wide receiver, tight end at, at Notre Dame. And he was a pretty good one, too. There's Mike Trout. And there's JT Real Muto. Where's he going to go? Miles with the Phillies. But he chose baseball. He grinded through the minors. He was a decent pitcher. Got paid a lot of money. A lot more money than he ever would have if he was a tight end in the NFL. Had a much longer career. Less CTE. Good for him. I'm sure someone, if is Jeff Marja a free agent, I'm, sorry, I'm sure, sure someone will pick him up. Add some depth in the back of a rotation. One or two year deal. You know, whatever his minimum salary would be for a player that's been around that long. Three years, twenty-four million, eight million a year, something like that. I could see that. JT Real Muto, the frame that we just pulled for Miles. There's Clevenger right here. Cleveland, that'll be for Rich. Still Cleveland edition there. JT Real Muto, where's he gonna go? Who wants JT Real Muto? A catch with a bat? Free agent. There's Chipper Jones. And there's Shogo Akiyama, 45 out of 75. And that'll be for the Reds, Rick Thomas with the Reds. Gilbert wants to wants to see some Tatis. Here. 
All right. Charlie Blackman to 150. Another Luis Robert. And Ricky Henderson to 50 for the A's. That'll go to Coppola. All those Luis Roberts going to Rich Ferretis. The Chicago White Sox. Very nice. And Charlie Blackman, 150 for the Rocks. That'll be for Brian Crouch. And the frame behind uh, Giancarlo Stanton is going to be Abraham Toro. Rookie auto for the Strohs. That's going to go to Brian Crouch. Won that in the team random. All right, so there's the second half of the case. We've got about 15 more minutes to go in this one. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. No, no one has any thoughts on JT Real Muto? Who could use a catcher? Anyone can use it. Anyone could. What if the Marlins get him back again? That would be a long con, wouldn't it? They trade JT Real Muto to get prospects back you know, who I'm sure will be effective at some point in their careers, if not great. No, they got Sixto Sanchez from JT Real Muto, didn't they? So he's pretty good. So imagine if, if, if Jeter and the GM and the team can be like, hey, there's Keston Hero for the Brewers, David Kist. If they can be like, JT, come back. Anchor this young team that just went to the playoffs and the Phillies didn't. <laughs> that, that would be, what a con. If he was like, yeah, I was going to go back to Miami all along. Wow. All right, there's Don Mattingly. The gold frame is the Giants. Mauricio Dubon, I Capola with the San Francisco Baseball Giants. And Derek Jeter would be crazy like a fox, right, in his team. Yeah, Sixto was in that trade for Jeter. That'd be hilarious. And the argument is kind of there. It's like, hey, Marlins went to the playoffs. Really shouldn't. At least in this weird COVID shortened season with expanded playoffs. Philly still couldn't get in. So, oh, sorry about that. There's Willie Mays, Willie Mays, Trout. Matt Chapman to 99 for the A's. Coppola. I don't know. Marlins were a nice. So we're trying to look for this guy too for Gilbert. I think Marlins Marlins were a nice uh, were a nice story this year. They they're still they still got to be like a couple of years away. I think the I think the White Sox are kind of on schedule, maybe a tiny bit ahead of schedule. White Sox are gonna be scary next year. There's Rangel Ravello, twenty four out of seventy five for the Cardinals. Andrew got the Cardinals in the random. Right, and Brian Anderson's underrated on the Marlins. 
But I think they're still a little ways away. But trending the right direction. White Sox, I think, are gonna be are gonna be right there. Twins and White Sox battling for that AL Central. While the Royals and Indians, I guess, will start to retool. I think there's gonna be in the next year or two, I think there's gonna be a lot of a lot of shortstops. I think I saw that on, on MLB Network or something like that. That there's gonna be like a lot of shortstops up for free agency in the next two years. I think Lindor is up for free agency. Correa is up for free agency. Corey Seager is up for free agency. So those can be some interesting things. You know, someone else just asked that earlier too, Mike. I feel like anyone could use a Trevor Bauer. Is really what my... my I had a more long-winded answer, but I think the, the short point was anyone can use a Trevor Bauer. And so I think... And I don't think the free agent market is super deep for starting pitchers. So I think he's going to get paid. Dodgers, I mean, I don't know if the Dodgers will do it, but I think Dodgers would love to have a Trevor Bauer. Wouldn't the Reds want to keep Trevor Bauer? I don't think the Yankees want Trevor Bauer. Brewers want Trevor Bauer. Minnesota, wouldn't they want Trevor Bauer? I don't even think the White Sox would love to put Trevor Bauer in that rotation. He's a number two starter for every team, I think. And probably a number one starter on most teams. All right, next one is Jordan Yamamoto, speaking of the Miami Marlins. That's going to go to Chris Freeze. we got the Marlins in the team random. Padres could use Trevor Bauer. You don't think the, the Phillies could use a Trevor Bauer? I mean, it's pretty much Aaron Nola in Philadelphia, right? And then... Must be a redemption then. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, there it is. That's the frame. I was like, where's the frame? Because it's a redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? For bragging rights? It's Bregman to 99. Mike King, I think, is live. Tyler Brenner, we just pulled a Mike King. Uh, I think I think he's live. I don't think he's a redemption. Mike Trout could be a redemption. Mike wasn't signing his cards. All right, both Kyle Lewis I going to the M's. That'll be for Kevin Kane and the Mariners. Oh, you've seen Redemptions of Mike? So he signed half his cards and didn't sign the other half? Oh, maybe we did discuss this. Now that's starting to come back to me. You are due to receive a framed autograph card parallel, blue parallel of, and they write the teams here now. It looks like C. Sin, Cincinnati. Eugenio Suarez, Reds. No one guessed him, right? That'll be for Rick Thomas, who won the Reds in that team random. Yeah, Tatis is on the checklist, right? Gilbert, yeah, he's supposed. I feel like we've seen, we haven't seen a lot of. We've seen like one half of the checklist. We haven't seen any of the other half of the checklist. I feel like. I don't think he's an easy pull out of these sets, though.
think once you get into a player's second year, especially if they're a big name player, the quantity of those autographs drop off a lot in the in subsequent years. There's Blake Snell to 150. I think they start to charge too much for their for their ink. There's Manny Machado for the Friars, Gilbert. Blake Snell for the Rays, Darren McKenzie. All right, your frame behind Jackie Robinson is going to be Junior Fernandez. Going to Andrew Corsini, who won the Cardinals in that team, Randy. Nice. Three gold frames to go. Good luck, everyone. Thanks for getting into the action. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have Walt Wall Breaks, ladies and gentlemen. I think from the start of the day to the end of the day, and when we're, we're even an hour over when I usually go off air, wall to wall break. So thanks very much, everyone. This is my last break tonight. I can feel myself trying to drag a little bit. But thanks, everyone, for getting into all of the action. I thought, I thought wrong. This happens almost every time I think this. In my head, I was like, ah, oh, Spectra is a big new release tomorrow. People are going to be sitting on their wallets. <laughs> they're they're going to wait for tomorrow. They're not going to join some breaks. I was like, maybe early night for me. No. You guys had other ideas. So thanks, ladies and gentlemen. We appreciate that. It's Chris Sale, 99. Xander Bogarts and Chris Sale going to the Red Sox. John Wilkins and that Altuve goes to Brian Crouch and the Strohs. And the frame here is going to be behind Andrew McCutcheon. Behind Kutch is Michael Brousseau. You're a ALDS hero going to Darren McKenzie and the Rays. Rays may need more of his heroics. Card behind the frame. There's the guy behind the guy behind the guy. All right. The penultimate box. Tony Gwynn to 150. Tony Gwynn again. Cool Whit Merrifield to 99. Another Luis Robert. That's a class one Luis Robert. For Rich and the White Sox. There's Dak Prescott. Seems to be in good spirits, all things considered. Alright, there's Jacob DeGrom. And. Logan Webb, a giant, going to Ai Capola. Some Oppo Joe Mojo. My rivals. All right. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. This is Pick Your Team 7. I don't know if we have any more gold label in the store, but keep your eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com in case we do get some more. I thought I saw an extra case in the back, or maybe that wasn't gold label. I don't know. Either way, keep an eye on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll do a quick frame recap after this last one here. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Be sure to join us early tomorrow. If you're watching live, be sure to er join us early tomorrow for new release day. Wow, Luis Robert to 25. Class 3 to 25. I don't know what that's going to go for, but I, I'm thinking a lot relative to all the other other uh, cards out there. There you go. So that goes to Rich Ferretis, who picked up the White Sox straight up. I don't, you wouldn't be surprised if that covers a big chunk of the spot. Add that to all the other Luis Roberts that we've been seeing here. All right, and behind Reese Hoskins, it's going to be Sean Murphy. 27 out of 50, Oakland A's, I Coppola with the Athletics, and the last hit of the night. Thanks very much, everyone, for getting into the action. There's that Luis Robert, Class 3 to 25 again. There is the Eugenio Suarez for the Reds redemption, a bunch of Kyle Lewis's. Jordan Yamamoto, Ravello, Dubon, Toro, Robert, Akiyama, JT, Real Muto, Hunter Harvey for the O's, Matt Tice, Willie McCovey. A couple Jake Rogers we got out of there too. There's the live Mike King. We got, a, we got two relics in this case. That's not too common. And there's the Robert right there as well. Thanks very much, everyone. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was Pick Your Team 6 of the brand new 2020 Tops Gold Label Baseball. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.